One of my objectives was to lower the native incarceration rate, and we did that. I think about 28%. I went down to the courthouse and observed, and I was shocked. It was like a supermarket. They'd bring about four out, read the charges, ask them their name, and the, the, the non-natives would speak, but the natives didn't speak. And I observed for about three weeks, and I finally went to my board at the Friendship Center and said, I want to take a couple of judges for dinner. Is there some way I can help the courts with the Aboriginal people coming in? I says about 60% of the new arrests and new cases are Aboriginal people. The police and the prosecutors were a bit hesitant in uh, allowing me in there because they thought I was going to jam the courts up. And all it was was explaining what their rights are and what they could do and what they couldn't do. We didn't stick to court work with uh, the work I was involved in. Uh, I was on the Federal Planning Committee and Provincial Planning Committee for Institutions. And I talked to the warden. I said, we should get a native liaison in here. So we hired an elder for drum. It was the best behavior modification program in corrections. And when we got it going here in Alberta, then we were asked to, to work with other uh, groups. I remember when I was doing court work, uh, you know, the uh, prosecutors would say, you can't do that. The police, the lawyers even would say, you can't do that. I said, to hell I can't. I'd say, the judge hasn't told me I can't do that. And, and push. If you see something, push. But be sure of what you're pushing, you know, and believe in it.